everyone, welcome to my weight loss video. Um, I posted on Instagram about a month ago for you guys to ask me questions um, in regards to my weight loss and I'm finally getting around to filming it. I'm sorry it took so long, it was a really busy part of my semester, but I mean, I told you I'd do it, so here I am. Uh, just a disclaimer, I've already filmed this video many times and I've hated it every single time, so I just keep redoing it. I've been watching previews of mine right now. Um, I just, I don't want to redo it again, so this is the one I'm definitely gonna upload. But I'm sorry, I know my glasses are crooked, I broke them. So, um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jordan, I am on Instagram, I have an account, it's um, at Jordan Shrinks. Basically, I've used the account since January to document my weight loss journey, uh, since January 8th. So I started my journey on January 8th, and since then I have lost 130 pounds, 100 of which were in the first 6 months. So, I'm here today to explain to you how I lost so much weight. Um, kind of like how I did it. I'm, it's not, I mean, like, I'm telling you about my experience, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. I just, I know a lot of people have questions and I want it to be as transparent as possible. Um, I'm going to start with the basic questions first. So my age, I am 23 years old. When I started, I was 22. My height, I get asked this a lot. I'm five foot nine. My starting weight was 303.4 pounds. Um, my current weight is around 175 pounds. My starting day, as I said, was January 8th, 2016. My starting size was a 3X in junior or women's junior plus size. So that's like at Forever 21 plus and um, like wet seal plus, which there is no wet seal plus in Canada, but whatever. And my current size is a medium. My starting number size was 22 to 24 and my current is 12 to, oh sorry, 10 to 12. Although I can fit in an eight sometimes. So. Where I'm from, I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, although um, that's not where I grew up, but that's where I live now, and what I'm studying. Uh, short answer, because a, a lot of you guys ask about this since I'm on my second master's degree. Um, yeah, the short answer is politics. All right, so the first question, and I get this question a lot, and it is, why did you start your journey? So when I started my weight loss journey, I was very motivated by my health. I kind of reached a breaking point where I realized that I had been abusing my body for many, many years. I was putting bad food in it, I wasn't exercising, and just generally, like, I wasn't taking care of myself. Um, I was super concerned for my well-being. Honestly, like, I can tell you the exact story. It was, I think it was, like, January 3rd. I was sitting on my floor in my bedroom at my parents' house, so where I am right now, um, and I was folding my clothes because I had just finished the holiday season and I was going back to school. And when I was folding my clothes, I was like browsing Facebook and I came across this link and it was like, I don't know, like five signs you have diabetes or some shit. And I clicked on it because I had already, I was like already feeling really anxious about the possibility of me having diabetes because I had all these other symptoms. Um, so I click on this link. The first one was like talking about the dark ring around your neck, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically like a hyperpigmentation and it goes like around your neck and it's just like darker skin. Um, it kind of looks dirty, but, um, it's just like, you can't rub it off. It's just like a part of your skin. And that is something that I had. And I remember seeing that and just being like, fuck, because up until that moment, like I was aware that it was there, but I always just assumed since I was bigger that it was like, because my neck folded a certain way. Um, and I was always just making excuses, you know, in denial, like we all are, if you start super morbidly obese, that's basically how you live your life. So I saw that and I was like, okay, like really fucking freaked me out. And right after I saw that link, I started looking at gym memberships. I started looking at like what I need to do to get healthier. Um, I was having a lot of other symptoms as well. Like I was constantly peeing. I just had a bunch of symptoms and I realized that I had completely fucked up my health. I was never diagnosed with anything. So I was never diagnosed with diabetes or pre-diabetes, but I am fairly certain that I had it just because I had so many symptoms and I was always feeling like shit. Um, there was a point in like the year prior where I was losing a fuck ton of hair. So yeah, that's basically why I started. So how often do you weigh yourself? So I have been on the exact same weigh-in schedule since I started in January. I weigh myself once a week, um, except this month I'm doing no weigh December or no scale no December just because I want to eat all the shit food for Christmas. I weigh myself once a week every Friday and always in the morning. I wake up, I go to the washroom so I poop and I pee and then I weigh myself um, before I eat anything or consume anything. I never weigh myself at night due to the type of diet I follow which I'll get more into later. My weight fluctuates significantly from the morning to the night. Honest to god like I can weigh myself in the morning 
and when I weigh myself again at night, I could be up to eight pounds heavier. Do you calorie count? So um, I used to calorie count all the time. When I first started um, trying to lose weight, calorie counting was like my jam. Um, I used my fitness pal, the app. I would put in every single thing I ate. And the really cool thing about my fitness pal is that like you can put in your food and then it'll tell you like your expected weight loss within five weeks. And I loved that shit. Like honestly, it was a great tool when I first started because I had no idea about nutrition. I had no idea even like, I, like I knew what a calorie was, but I didn't understand like calories in and calories out. Like, you know what I mean? There was like nothing I really understood about nutrition. So when I actually started using it, it was like, an, like it was a major wake up call. I remember um, I was with my friend and we went to Boston Pizza and I got... Um, just like this regular pasta dish because at that point I was still eating dairy so um, it was just like pasta and vegetables and like parmesan or some shit and I remember putting it in my fitness pal and seeing it was like 1300 calories and almost shitting myself because I ate that type of food every day and I was like wow like this is why I'm so fat. So I stopped calorie counting um, when I moved to Ottawa in September. I basically decided that I didn't want to calorie count anymore. I didn't view it as sustainable for me. I don't want to live the rest of my life calorie counting. Um, I wanted to kind of learn how to eat without being so dependent on like a tool. And I think that's been really good for me. I think that calorie counting for a lot of people can become very toxic. Um, I did like, I kind of caught myself always checking what was in food, always checking um, like what I was consuming and actually worrying about it and I think that just I, I think I was developing a really like dangerous relationship with calorie counting which is why I decided to stop like you know calorie counting has gone too far when you're looking at two snacks like say you're looking at a hundred calorie pack of like I don't know chips and then a hundred and fifty calorie apple and you choose the chips just because it has fewer calories, that's when you know that calorie counting has gone too far. If I were to guess how many calories I consume, it's probably around like 2,500, 22 to 2,500 right now. Um, and I am still losing weight, so that is how much I eat to lose weight. Did you have weight loss surgery? No, I did not have any weight loss surgery. What type of diet do you follow? So this is the question I get asked the most because you're all super curious, which is cool. So I follow a high carb, low fat vegan diet. So that's no dairy, no meat, and no eggs. Um, the majority of my calories come from plant-based sources. So a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit, a lot of legumes, um, just a lot of plant-based goodness. I'm also a huge bread fiend. I fucking love bread. I love carbs. Like I'm always talking about carbs, which is why I follow a high carb diet. Um, I love my waffles, I love my burritos, I love my sandwiches, I love my wraps. Basically, if it has a lot of carbs, I'm going to eat it. So I'm not saying that I lost weight because I'm vegan. I'm saying that I developed a really healthy lifestyle because I'm vegan. So it was really easy for me to say no to bad food. Like if I'm at like a party and someone brought cupcakes, like there's a high chance those cupcakes are not vegan, so I'm not going to binge on those cupcakes. Were you vegan before you started losing weight? So no, I was not vegan. I was a vegetarian for three and a half years, but I was a huge dairy person. Like, I was highly dependent on dairy for happiness. Um, like, I loved my fucking cheesy pasta. I ate cheese on fucking everything. What kind of waffles do you eat? So I get asked this question all the time because, um... I post on my Instagram story all the time my waffles because I literally eat waffles probably every day because I'm a huge fan. So I have them here to show you. Uh, this is the brand of waffles I eat. They are called Dark Chocolate Chip Gluten-Free Waffles by Nature's Path, which is like an organic brand. You can find these in, um, like if you're in Canada, they're in like Loblaws and Zares and like the organic vegan section and I'm sure they're everywhere. Just like look in like the healthy section and you'll find them. How hard was it to breathe while working out in the beginning? So it was definitely harder than it is now. Um, walking upstairs was really tough for me. Um, I remember being so embarrassed all the time when I was walking with people. And like if I was like walking upstairs with people and then we were in a conversation, I would be so embarrassed to like continue talking because it was like... <gasps> My resting heart rate used to be over 90 beats per minute. Uh, which is not good, by the way, uh, to have a resting heart rate that high when you're literally doing fuck all. Uh, my resting heart rate now is 52 beats per minute. Um, it actually might be a bit lower now. I think I'm, like, I've had it a couple times in the 40s, which I'm always, like, super excited about uh, because that's, like, the range that an athlete has and, like, I like to think I'm an athlete. 
Did you ever do juice fast, use supplements, pills, teas, wraps, or other tools? No. Oh, by the way, my hair's wet. Well, it's kind of wet, so if you think I'm, like, super greasy, I promise it's just that my hair is wet and it's not grease. Do you have loose skin? I get asked this question a lot, too. Um, this is something that a lot of people are concerned about, which, I mean, like, it makes sense why you're concerned about having loose skin, but I just wish it wasn't such, like, a deciding factor for people. I, like, I lost 130 pounds, so obviously I have some loose skin. I feel like I've been very lucky. Um, I don't have too much loose skin. The majority of it is around my boobs because I've literally lost all of my boobs. I just feel like it shouldn't matter. When I, like, when I started losing weight, I knew I would most likely have loose skin because I had such a large amount of weight to lose, but I didn't let it discourage me. Like, it's so much better to be have, like, to have loose skin and be healthy than to be unhealthy and to have, like, tight skin. Um, yes, I do have loose skin. It's not terrible, but even if it was, I would still much rather be healthy, and I hope that's how you guys, uh, feel too. So what exercise do you do? So this is probably my most asked question for good reason. You guys are all really curious about what I do in the gym and what I do um, outside the gym. So I have pretty much followed the exact same exercise routine since I started. I've just kind of increased the amount I do because as I've become stronger and lighter, it's become a lot easier for me. When I started in January, I did the elliptical, the treadmill, and I walked. So I would walk to and from the gym, which is about 25 minutes each way. I would do the elliptical for about half an hour and then the treadmill for half an hour. Um, I still do that to this day, although I have been trying to cut out the gym because I want to be like that person who doesn't go to the gym and like just runs like 10k every morning and like has a smoothie for breakfast. On the elliptical, I go hard. Like, you guys know... Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I fucking hate the elliptical, but I go on it anyway because it's the only machine that gets my heart rate above 180 beats per minute. So I go really, really hard on the elliptical, about a resistance of 12. Um, on the treadmill, I go really hard as well. I go at 4.2 miles per hour, which I don't know what that is in kilometers, but on, like, the treadmill, it's American. So it says 4.2 miles um, at the highest incline, so 15. So speed walking at the highest incline for 30 minutes. It can be rough, but I mean, it's worth it, right? So I've always calculated my exercise based on steps. So if you've been following me on Instagram a long time, you know that I'm always posting like my step count, I'm always saying my goals are to hit this many steps. Uh, currently, since it is December and I just finished my semester and um, I'm not working, my step goal per day is 22,000. There was a period in the summer of about four months where my daily average was about 23,000. Um, however, when I'm in school and I work and stuff, I'm closer to around 15,000 a day. People often ask, like, how do you have time to exercise like that? Or how do you have time to hit 22,000 steps a day when you're in school and you're working? The truth is that, like, you just have to make time. So I wake up early for school. Like, when I have class, I start at 9. I have to leave my house at 8 because I walk to campus, um, which means I am up at 5.15 that morning to run. And it sounds terrible. I know it sounds terrible, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And just like based off the nature of my diet, it's actually really easy for me to wake up early and exercise. And it's it makes me feel better to exercise in the morning than not to exercise. So when I'm faced with like the option, like say I'm in bed and I'm super fucking tired and I don't want to wake up, I know that I will feel better if I get up and just exercise than if I stay in bed and sleep in. How did you find the confidence to go to the gym in the beginning? So, um... A lot of people are kind of concerned when they first start going to the gym, especially as a larger person. Um, you're, people are just afraid of being judged or afraid of being um, stared at or laughed at. And that is completely, like, that is a very valid concern. Like, I completely understand that. But at the end of the day, you have to go for yourself and, like, honestly, fuck everyone. I never had a bad experience at the gym. No one ever made fun of me. Um, at least I didn't see it. And if they did, fuck them. Like, everyone's there to better themselves, and, you, like, that's not something you should be concerned about. Because everyone starts somewhere. It doesn't matter if you're starting at a higher weight than someone else. Like, I started at over 300 fucking pounds, and I still went every day and sweat my ass off and did my thing. Honestly, no one cares. And if they do, then they're a piece of shit, so. Did it ever get easier to work out in the beginning? So, yes. Um, I get a lot of comments about this as well, how people have a hard time sticking to it because it's just really hard for them. Um, it does get easier. The more you work at it, the more of a habit it becomes. So like, you know, there are bad habits and there are good habits. A good habit of mine is exercising every day. 
good habits are just as hard to break as uh, bad habits. So at the beginning, I remember I would wake up and I'd be like, fuck my life. Like it was the middle of fucking January. It was negative 30 degrees outside. I did not want to go to the gym, but I did. And after I kept doing it and I kept doing it, I kept doing it. And then all of a sudden it was harder for me, as I said, to not go to the gym than it is to go to the gym because I created a lifestyle out of it. Like it's literally just my life now. And people will sometimes be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why do you wake up at five and go running? And I'm like, to you, it seems like really weird, but to me, it's just my life. And that will happen for you as well. So yes, it does definitely get easier. What apps do you use? So I use the iPhone health app. I don't know if I have my phone. Yeah, I do. Um, to calculate my steps. Uh, everyone always asks me this because they think I'm using some like awesome app. It really is just like the iPhone app. So I went for a run this morning um, for about two and a half hours and you can see I did over 16,000 steps and I'm going to go for a walk tonight and hopefully get over 22,000 because that's my goal. I also used, um, actually that's all I'm using right now, but as I said earlier, I used to use my fitness pal to calorie count. Um, but yeah, those are the only two apps. Oh, and then I have my iWatch, which I'm not wearing right now, but I use my iWatch as a step tracker and a heart rate monitor. So I also have like the iWatch app. How have your family and friends responded? Have they tried to sabotage you? So this is actually um, a really valid question because I know there are a lot of people who experience this type of like backlash when they're trying to lose weight. Um, a lot of people get jealous. A lot of people feel like they benefit from you being unhealthy. So it's definitely a valid question. I have been very fortunate. Everyone in my life has been very supportive. Um, I haven't had anyone kind of like try to ruin my progress or try to undermine my progress. Everyone has been very, very supportive and everyone has, you know, been like kind of rooting, rooting for me, which is really nice. Why do you think your weight loss has been so steady and consistent? So I would say it's a mix of my exercise and diet. Um, a really good tip if you're trying to lose weight, um, it's not a tip a lot of people want to hear because it's really boring, but um, a beneficial like thing to know is that if you eat the same things over and over again, your weight loss is going to like move along faster. So um, there was a period of time where I ate the same dinner for months. It's still one of my favorite dinners. It's broccoli and potatoes. Broccoli is a high um, protein vegetable and potatoes are fucking bomb. Like you bake them and it tastes like french fries. So yeah, I ate that like almost every night for months and everyone made fun of me, but I love it. I think it's delicious and it was effective. Yeah, just find the things that you like and just keep doing it. So find the exercise you like, find the food you like, be consistent with it and you will see the weight come off. What is your eating schedule? Honestly, I eat 24-7 I feel like. Um, I don't really have a set schedule. I eat when I'm hungry, which is a good advice for everyone. Like, don't starve yourself if you're hungry. Uh, but, like, if I were to do a rough estimate, so I eat when I wake up in the morning, obviously, my breakfast. Um, if I'm running at 5 in the morning, um, I actually eat after I run. So I do, like, the fasted cardio thing uh, just because I'm not hungry at that point. Um, but if I wake up a bit later, I'll eat right in the morning. So I eat my breakfast, and then I have a snack, and then I have another snack, and then I have my lunch, and then I have two more snacks. Like, I'm, I'm definitely eating every hour and a half, um, and then I have my dinner, which is my biggest meal, and then at night I have, like, a large, massive bowl of fruit. Uh, yeah. People, people, oh yeah, people ask me about this all the time, too, like, uh, how do you consume so much sugar? I consume probably about 150 grams of sugar a day, all coming from natural sources, so like fruit. Um, it's just, I don't know, like it doesn't make me sick. It doesn't make me gain weight. I just, I follow a high sugar, high carb diet. I know it sounds fucked up, but that's just how it is. What is your winter running gear? So I run in the winter, as you guys know. Um, it doesn't matter if it's negative 30 fucking degrees outside, I'm still outside running. So I get asked this question a lot, what do I wear to kind of survive through the cold months? So on my shoes, I don't have them right here because they're wet because I was running this morning in the snow, but I have like traction devices on them. Uh, basically you can get them on Amazon and it's just like this rubber band and you kind of pull it over your shoe and they have like little like cleats type of thing so that if you're running on ice you don't slip and eat shit. I also have this, which you guys see all the time. It is my hydration belt. You can get these on Amazon. I got mine at the running room but they are definitely cheaper at Amazon. This goes like around your waist and um, yeah, it clips. So when you're running, you can like 
have your water. I layer up, so I have my shirt, like my thermal running shirt, then my sweater, then my jacket, my hat, my mitts, which have to be really thick, um, and then my leggings. I actually do not wear any type of special leggings, which is horrible because I get so cold, but I don't have any, and I don't even know where to buy like thermal leggings, so if you have suggestions, let me know. How long did it take to see a difference in yourself? So honestly, I didn't see much of a difference in terms of like my appearance until I lost 60 pounds, which is like a lot of weight to lose. So I hope you take that as a sign that like you shouldn't be discouraged because like it really, it obviously really sucks to lose like 50 pounds and not see a fucking difference. And even with my friends, like, um, I remember I was with my friends when I lost 70 pounds and they didn't notice. But then when I saw them again a couple months later and I lost 90 pounds, they were like, you look so good. And I'm like, thanks bitches. But like, I've lost 90 pounds. You couldn't notice earlier. How do you balance school and exercise? So like I already said, it's just a matter of making time. Um, I wake up earlier. I don't make excuses. I just know that I have to exercise. So I just find the time to do it. Since I hate exercising at night, I will always just wake up earlier. Do you use a machine for your back fat? Uh, no, I'm guessing that's someone in response to like one of my back fat progress pictures. Um, and yeah, I don't use any type of machine. I actually get asked a lot about how to lose weight in certain parts of the body and I honestly don't know. My weight loss has just been natural. So basically wherever the weight wants to come off, that's where it has come off. I don't know how to like tone certain parts or anything like that. Did I get negative thoughts resulting from a weight loss? So no, I personally haven't had any negative thoughts. Um, everything has been super positive. Uh, this is why it's important to make sure you're not developing toxic habits through your weight loss journey. It's important to make sure you're not starving yourself, you're not like being too restrictive on what you're eating. If you do find yourself um, feeling really negative, I would take that as a sign to kind of switch it up or kind of like reevaluate your strategies or you know just try to make it better. What are some of the health benefits you've experienced since losing weight? So I have three main ones. Um, the first is my heart rate, which I've already discussed. The second is my blood pressure. When I first started, I had severely high blood pressure. Um, and within three months, I had reversed that to optimal blood pressure levels, which was like such a huge NSV for me. Like I was so, so happy. Um, and then my third one is actually my period. Um, before my period, I just had a really, really heavy period and it was absolutely terrible. Like it was... I would just bleed and bleed and bleed. It would not stop. Just really bad. And now it's like I have like a three day period and it doesn't even hurt anymore. I don't really get cramps anymore. So yeah. How many hours of sleep do you get? Is it still hard to wake up and work out that early? So I get at least eight hours of sleep a night. So if I'm going up at 530, I'll be in bed by 930. Um, it's not really hard for me to wake up anymore. Um, obviously, there are some days when I wake up and I'm like, fuck. But that's like everyone, right? So I, it's not hard to wake up, it's much easier to wake up, and it's much easier to get to sleep at night. What was my step count when I first started? So when I first started, I aimed for 10,000 steps a day. That's like what the internet told me was the daily recommended, uh, and then that quickly emerged over 20,000 steps a day. So I'm a big walker. I like walking everywhere. Um, I'll run in the morning, and then wherever I have to go throughout the day, I'll walk. So I'll walk to the grocery store, I'll walk to school, I will basically just walk. I have built up a strong endurance for walking. My legs are definitely the strongest part of my body. What app do you use to write your monthly goal pictures? So I either use Photoshop or an app called Fonto, which is P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. Tips for people wanting to get into running. Um, I'm honestly probably not the best person to ask for tips because I'm still a terrible fucking runner. Um, I run anyway because I know it's good for me and I want to get better, but I'm terrible at running. Like... I cannot run very long. I cannot run very fast. If I were to give you tips, it would be just to like keep pushing. Because when I started, I could honestly run for like 15 seconds. You probably think I'm joking because it's that's pathetic, but that's the truth. Uh, now I can run for about eight minutes, but I yeah, just keep pushing. How many kilometers do you run? So on two hour days, so um, when I wake up at 5.15 in the morning to run, I can only run for about an hour because I have to start getting ready. And on those mornings, I run around five kilometers, uh, run slash walk. I don't run the entire time. Um, but on days when I don't have to get up for anything, um, I'll go for like two and a half to three hours, which is closer to like 12 to 14 kilometers. 
How much weight did you lose in your first month? So I lost exactly 20 pounds in my first month. How did you lose weight so quickly? So consistency, same workout, same food, drink a lot of water. Um, I cannot emphasize enough how important water is. I drink around five to six liters a day. I know that sounds absolutely like, ex like very, very extreme, but I'm telling you, water does the body good. Were you always confident? So yes, I would say I was always confident. Um, even when I was larger, like, I was a very confident person. I was confident in my abilities and my education and, like, my knowledge of topics. Um, I, I feel like I held myself very well. Like, I was, I was still into, like, fashion and stuff, even though it wasn't very good because I was, like, I didn't have access to as many articles of clothing, obviously. Um, but I was always confident. Like, I had a very strong support network through my family. Um, but now I am much more confident. So I was never, like, not confident, but now, like, the confidence is through the roof ask anyone who knows me. I'm always taking selfies. I'm always checking myself out in the mirror. Um, yeah. Do you do any strength exercise? So no, currently I don't do any strength training. I really, really, really want to get into strength training. Um, but every time I try, like I give up and it's because I don't have like a gym buddy and I don't have anyone who is actually well versed in strength training. So I don't want to like hurt myself and I don't want to look like a dumbass. So I just don't do it. How would you recommend losing weight for non-vegans? So, you are asking the wrong girl, unfortunately. I don't even know how to, like, cook chicken fingers, let alone cook, like, healthy, om like, omni meals. So, you're definitely asking the wrong person, but I would just say eat your vegetables. Alright, so those are all of the questions I received. Um, not completely all of them, I'm sorry, there were some I couldn't answer. So, I guess just a takeaway. My diet. I follow a high carb, low fat vegan diet, also high sugar diet. Um, I eat many times a day and I eat around 2,500 calories. Exercise. I aim for 15,000 to 22,000 steps a day. Um, I, I achieve this by running in the morning, walking everywhere throughout the day, and sometimes walking at night as well. Um, and I also use the elliptical, the treadmill, and I didn't talk about the climber, but I do go on the climber sometimes. And how did I lose weight so quickly? And my answer is consistency. Doing the same exercise every day, eating the same things every day. I mean, you can be you can be a bit adventurous. You don't have to eat the same meal every night like I did, but definitely find food that you like and that's easy to make because it makes it a lot easier for you to stick to your diet. Um, and yeah, so that like just being in a consistent schedule, that's gonna help you a lot as well. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope I answered all of it. Oh dang, see that highlight? Thank you for watching. I hope I answered all of your questions adequately. If I didn't, please feel free to leave a question down below. I'm going to try to respond to all comments um, just because I know I couldn't answer everything and I know my answers will probably provoke more questions. So yeah, just leave them down below and I'll try to answer everything. I hope everyone takes this video as motivation to get healthy, uh, to change your lifestyle and to work towards bettering yourself because I promise it is the best decision I have ever made. The only regret I have is that I didn't do it sooner. And I know everyone says that, and that's lame as fuck, but it's true. Um, it's so much easier than you think it is. I promise. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye! I do have goals I'm hoping to lose. I mean, like, ideally I want to lose around 130 pounds, which is a lot of weight. Um, I think a realistic goal would be in 18 months. Um, I think a year might be a bit too soon. Um, I'm currently 296.1 pounds. I started off at 303.4 pounds. And it's been one week and two days. So, yeah.